What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. First of all, happy new year, happy 2024, uh, prosperity, yada yada bullshit, all that stuff. Let's get to the point of the video. Let's get to the shits. PlayStation got some course correcting to do in 2024. 2023 to me was already unacceptable. <clears throat> they got some course correcting to do. They got some shit they need to address. 2023 was unacceptable to me because you only released one game of relevance, one for, and first party, let me clarify that, one first party game of relevance and consequence. Let it be clear, moving forward in this video, when I talk about games, I am talking about PlayStation first party games, unless I specify third party. Because you new age weirdos are suddenly trying to downplay the importance of first party games. That is why we buy a specific console. Not that third party games don't matter, they absolutely matter. But we buy these for first party games, the things we cannot get anywhere else. So you new weirdos acting like first party hasn't always been the most important thing, especially with the PlayStation brand. I ain't I, I ain't dealing with y'all. OK, this I guess because your overlords only released one first party game last year that suddenly y'all felt like y'all needed to pivot and spin the shit like like first party ain't the most important. I ain't dealing with y'all. OK, I'm not. To, we. I, I guess I should say I, I don't subscribe to that nonsense, okay? Last year was unacceptable. But my stance is I always give you one year, right? One off year. You off your game for one year, cool, I'll let that slide. But you only get one from me, right? And because it, it happens every generation, right? I know a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people who get their ass beat by nostalgia on a daily basis like to think that everything that came previous was better. Uh, you know, but PlayStation 4, had a, a, a off year, a dry year. Anybody who remembers Indie Station, Sparse Station, oh yeah, that definitely happened. A lot of people don't remember that. PlayStation 3, they had a real, I forgot what year it is, but it was some really dry shit. Um, there was like nothing from like, in general, the industry was dry that year, but definitely from PlayStation. I want to say it was, I may be completely wrong, but I want to say it was like 2000 and fucking 10 or some shit. One of those years during the, during the PS3 era was like really fucking dry. I can't remember. But it happens every generation is the point. But I give you one, but the next year you gotta, you gotta recover. You gotta regroup and fix some shit. Now, the way things are looking and my philosophy on how things typically go in the game, uh, in game development in the industry, if you don't announce something the year before or show a uh, significant amount of gameplay. The game probably ain't coming out next year. So the only thing that I don't know could really be coming out this year is maybe Concord. And I don't even we don't, we don't even really know what the fuck that shit is. So I think it's entirely possible that PlayStation goes this entire year, 2024. I think it's possible without any first per, with without any first party games from them. I think it's entirely possible because even though I think a lot of these games that they have in development are closer to release than we think. I think they don't really have anything concrete that's going to be ready for this year that they are going to announce, I don't know, in the next few months that they are going that that are also going to also end up uh releasing this year. The announcement, the official announcement and release in the same year, I doubt it. So, that being said, your issue last year was lack of first party games. And the, some would argue the bigger issue is the lack of communication announcements and showcases. Now, if the case actually is, and like I said, I believe that to be the case, um, which is unacceptable that you have no first party games, you know, that are going to release in 2024, you have to go crazy with showcases, announcements, and communication about what's coming in the future, 2025, early 2026. I'm not trying to really hear about shit uh, <clears throat> after that point. Some immediate things that, that are happening. Like I said, third party is cool, but like y'all acting like that's always been the most important thing. Y'all can get the fuck out of my face with that. Soap stars, whatever, or whatever the hell that game is called, Rise of the Ronin and Stellar Booty. Cool. Cool. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't the sh that ain't the show. That's that ain't the headliner. That's what I'm. That, that's not what I'm coming out for. I ain't leaving the house for that shit. Okay, 
That's not what the niggas is not coming out the house for that. You know what games we coming out the house for. And that's that's a metaphor. I don't literally mean that literally. I know what the fuck I'm saying. That that don't move us. That don't inspire no motion. The the games that get shit cranking around here, bro. You you know what I'm talking about. Those are the games that we need to hear about. The games that get shit shaking and moving. Those what we need to hear about. Those what we need to see. So, even though showcases and announcements still don't redeem you from releasing no games, that's the least you can, it's the least and the best you can do probably. To say, hey, we are lacking another year. We're going to be lacking for another year. But all this shit is coming. You got to have a media blowout. You got to go crazy. And here, and, and, and my thing is, this is far from the worst position PlayStation has been in. Far from the worst. So this is, last year is not something I don't look at last year as something that's like, oh, they can't recover from this. Oh, man, this is the worst, you know, state they've ever been in. Not even close. So there's a lot of shit y'all got to figure out. Y'all got to make some changes, pivot, and make it better in 2024. Game development, there's certain things I know you, you can't really move, move and shake like that because stuff takes time. But the communication, people will... will be understanding if y'all at least start communicating. And there's some changes happening at PlayStation. We we and that we all know CEO and all that and all that stuff. And there was a lot of like negative news, especially towards the end of the year. Some stuff that people, you know, blew out of proportion and interpreted to be negative, but some stuff that was actually legitimately negative. So listen, take some of that stuff in stride, take it on the chin, and turn this shit around because 20, 2024 can't be another repeat of 2023. That shit ain't flying. It's not flying, bro. I don't think it helps that PlayStation feels, not even feels, they can lean on third, third party until they are ready. Not saying I want them to rush things, but it's still unacceptable. It doesn't help because we want PlayStation to feel pressured that they have to talk, but it doesn't help that they are selling crazy make they they are making a lot of money they are still the market leader and dominating and all that shit and they do have all these third party deals um that are console exclusives they feel like hey we can lean on that we're winning and when we're ready we just release whatever we got I, I just need them to have a little bit more urgency than that. Got to have a little bit more urgency than that. Like I said, the, it, it, it can't be a repeat. Shit, shit can't be the same. They got to course correct. They got to change. They got to pivot. They got to adapt. They got to switch some things up. And I think they could do it. Um, and overall, lucky for them, overall, I don't know. I'm looking at 2024 in the list of games. Just in general, there's not a lot of stuff confirmed. There's some things confirmed. But overall, 2024 is not looking like it's not looking like one of those years where, damn, I'm going to have to like schedule time out to play this game. And I might or I'm probably going to take a day off from work to play this game. And damn, this game is launching right next to this one. I'm going to be so overwhelmed. It's not looking like that, at least from my perspective. Some cool stuff coming out, but nothing that's like we're going to be overwhelmed like in 2023 to the point where some people are still trying to finish up their 2023 games now. They got to do better. The brand is obviously strong. We know that. But the hardcore, the real hardcore, not the pandering ass kissing uh, hardcore, not them. They have expectations and PlayStation need, needs to meet them. All right. Not, not you weirdos who, like I said, you, you fuckhead weirdos who are acting like, you know, first party doesn't matter and downplaying the importance of, of, of first party. 
y'all could go jump in the river. Okay, because y'all, a lot of y'all are sounding like different fan bases. I'm like, I'm like, where, where has the, where has the integrity went of some, where, where did, where the, where the fuck some of y'all spines gone? Y'all like some of y'all lost y'all spine suddenly. Cause I guess, cause y'all overlords told y'all things are okay. And like, oh no, just hold this third party, this third party exclusive. You'll be all right. Yeah. Y'all make me sick. Um, but just wanted to start 2024 off right with my expectations. Those are, those are the standards. Those are the expectations. They better do better. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Hope we have another great year. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.